Welcome into this week's Coach's Corner, and this week we are taking some time to catch up with Monty Harpenau, the head coach for the undefeated Remsen St. Mary's Hawks softball team, and thanks for being here, Coach. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So let's talk about this season so far. 12-0, a great start. Kind of walk me through those 12 games. Uh, yeah, you know, we started off the season uh, beating... I believe it was, you know, Hinton and South of Bryan that first week, Hinton, you know, being ranked in 2A and, you know, last year came down to the last game like it looks like it might this year for our conference. Uh, we kind of had a slow start with the rain. We only got four games in the little over the first two weeks, uh, which wasn't the worst thing for our girls being state track and everything, getting everybody healthy. And, um, yeah, then we've gotten kind of on a roll last week, or you know, playing – uh, six games so the week before and then three this week and uh, you know had a tough game with Akron and Galen Catholic uh, you know and then we also uh, last week ended the week with a big win over West Monona who was a great team uh, you know they've got some really good players they execute well and you know Abby Hyatt, Hyatt their pitcher located the ball on us you know so that was a great uh, test for us. Absolutely. You kind of talked about that game against West Monona, how good of a test it was for you guys. Walk me through kind of what it does to play a team that is so talented kind of at this point in the season. Uh, it was a big, it was big just for us to see where we were at because we know how good they are. We've had, you know, two years ago, we played them down there and I believe we went like 10 innings and, uh, you know, we won that. And I believe that was a similar game where it was tied one to one. This year we came through in the, you know, in the seventh and got the runs then. Um, but that is the caliber of team you play at state. Uh, so that is great to, to see, you know, at this point in the season and see where you're at. Absolutely. And, you know, this team has a history of great seasons, a lot of state appearances. You know, how do the Hawks consistently find their way to the big stage? Um, I believe, you know, these girls, they're just resilient, uh, you know, whether it's, an injury or, you know, anything, it, it doesn't, it doesn't affect them. The next person steps up um, and they've, they've done that now, you know, three years, this is going on the fourth year where they, they, they don't really care what lineups out there. Uh, they they'll move around. They, they'll do whatever it takes to, to win. Talk about doing whatever it takes. You know, I grew up in Nebraska where summer, there were really no sports going on outside of Legion ball, but here in Iowa, both high school and, uh, high school baseball and softball go on during the summer. What does it say about the athletes that you guys coach that they're willing to kind of give up a chunk of their summer to commit to playing the sport? Uh, it's it's huge. You know, you see it all over the state uh, and, you know, every, even around here where uh, you have to be really committed to softball or in, and baseball for that matter. You know, you, you got kids with lake homes and stuff like that, and they don't really get to go to them until uh, – till August. So, you know, you give up, you give up a lot. It's a sacrifice, but uh, that's what, that's the kind of players you want that are willing to sacrifice stuff like that. And, you know, we're kind of moving through the season pretty quickly here. Can you kind of walk me through whatever the long-term goal is for this season specifically? You know, uh, obviously, you know, we have a tough conference with Acker and Hinton, you know, MMCRU and Galen. The first thing is always wanting to win your conference. Uh, you know, this year with the success we've had, you know, we we want to try to finish in the top two or three, you know, in one A, just because that gives you a better road to state. And if you have the luck opportunity, you know, of making it to state, it gives you a higher seed. Uh, and and then, you know, these guys, they want more than just making it to state, you know, after being there this long, they want to really make a deep run. And you can tell that with their focus and the way that they come working every day. Let's talk about this group of girls, kind of who are the key players? Who's, you know, who's the veteran leader on this team? Kind of walk us through that a little bit. Well, to be honest, there's a lot of them because they've all played since they were freshmen, you know, some role, some of them had a big role already as eighth graders, but, you know, you'd have to start off with Maya Bunkers. You know, she's uh, been one of our top for batting average, top RBIs. You know, she, she's she's our shortstop. Last season, she was our catcher when Hallie Gallus got hurt. 
uh, you know, we kind of go as her and Claire Schrader go because Claire's our leadoff hitter. You know, Claire's batting three something this year, but she has batted, you know, in the 500s the last couple of years. Um, and then Hallie Gallus, uh, you know, batting five something and batting, you know, she's got a few home runs here towards the end, right, of this run that we're on right now. Um, and then obviously you go to your pitchers, you know, Marina Cronin has, you know, got over 500 strikeouts, uh, you know, and she's, she's our, you know, ace, but we also have Josie Swickrath right behind her that, you know, most teams would love to have Josie as their starter. And we have the luxury of having Josie to back up Marina. You know, tell us a little bit about the energy and the atmosphere around this group. What makes it so fun to be around? Uh, the biggest thing, you know, that there was a little stretch in there where we didn't feel like we were playing our best. And and I just told them they're, they're their best when they're loose and having fun. Uh, I feel like th we weren't playing St. Mary's softball in that stretch. They were, they were pressing, like, like they, <clears throat> they felt the pressure of, the last several seasons and what they were supposed to do. And I said, forget about what other teams are doing and what you're supposed to do. Just go do, do what we do. And we've played a lot better since then. Absolutely. Well, that's all the time we have for coaches corner. I want to thank you coach Harpenoff for stopping by and talking some Rems and St. Mary's softball. And we want to wish you the best of luck the rest of the season. All right. Thanks, sir.